Hi guys and welcome to another video tutorial about Blender for Kirkitia users. Basically this tutorial is a continuation of our customizing the Blender user interface tutorial and if we come from that remember this is our top viewport, front, side and perspective view. Basically we're going to we'll check uh, basic mouse operation, object creation, some basic modeling and perhaps doing a quick quick uh, render uh, within Blender. Okay, So let's start the mouse operation you do mostly most of the things with your middle mouse button so if you scroll wheel the mouse in and out like here you will be zooming well in and out okay now blender has something you can do most of the things you do with a mouse with keys so in in other words blender has like four or five different ways of operating with the user interface but i'm going to teach you the way i use it to shortcut a bit okay so scroll wheel, wheel, wheel scroll mouse in and out zooms in and out now if you shift and click your middle mouse button you will be panning here pan and here pan if you cont hit control and middle mouse button click you will be zooming in and out same here front side and perspective okay and in perspective view if you just uh, hit click the middle mouse button you will be orbiting. Now if by accident you do the same here in the top viewport so immediately you will be changing it. So remember if you screw one of your views up go again to view and select the corresponding view. In this case top or you can hit here you have the shortcuts numpad 7 key for top. Very very good so that's basically mouse operation. Let's talk about a, a bit of about object creation. Everything in Blender is created by hitting the spacebar. So if you click on spacebar, you will get this menu and you will have the different options add, edit, select, transform, object, blah blah blah. Object creation is done through the add mesh uh, menu and in mesh you have different options plane, cube, circle, UV sphere, blah blah. So let's begin, let's create a cube. Here we go. So, uh, whenever you create an object in Blender, it's going to be immediately in ed edit mode. Uh, in the other tutorials I said subobject mode because it's the word you use in 3ds Max so edit mode means yeah, you can uh, manipulate the object by its vertices, faces or faces or edges uh, by default it will be selected by its vertices so and to enter in and out from subobject mode or edit mode you can do it by hitting tab okay uh, here I got my 3d object in wireframe view so you click on Z or Z to change into shaded view. Okay, very good. Here we go. Now, basic mouse operation well, with an object that you created, and let's check the basic Blender operations. Uh, the basic operations are move, scale, and rotate. In Blender, move is called grab, and uh, the shortcut we do it by using the shortcut keys. So for grab, we use the G. So click on G, and you can move. Yeah, your object to where you want it. Now you can constrain the movement to the different axes. So, so check something here. Blender is a, is an X Y to the to the uh, I mean uh, Blender's to the top view is X Y. I mean Blender's world it's an X Y system. Z is for the height. Okay, so you can just click on G for grab, and then just tell it. Uh, in which way you want to constrain it. If you hit Y, immediately it will be constrained to move into the Y axis and the same for X or here in the other viewports or in perspective. I'm in perspective right now. I hit G and I hit Y, I will be constrained to moving the object in that direction. If you want to move it in controlled increments, snap to the grid, you hit G, for instance Z, and hit Control, and the object will be moved in increments very very good. Now the second basic operation is rotate. Shortcut key for rotate is R so the same here. You can just uh, use your mouse to rotate it or hit control to get increments every five degrees. Check over here yep if I hit control I'm having exact five degrees increments. If you want to exit the, uh, the, uh, the basic operation without doing anything just right click in the air very good. So now we have uh, grab and rotate. And the other one is scale. 
the, the basic uh, key for scale, well, the shortcut is S. You said it. So if I hit on S, this will do a uniform scale. If I click on, on control, I will, get, I will get snapped increment. Or I can also constrain the, the scale factor in any of the axes. So if I, I hit on scale and I hit X, my object will be only scaled in one direction. Right click to exit, hit S to scale, Y to constrain it, and there you go. And then you can combine it with control to do snapped increments. Okay, very, very good. So that's basic object operations in Blender. And uh, last, uh, the last thing we're going to check is ch uh, working in sub-object mode. So hit tab, as I told you. And uh, for instance, uh, bl in Blender you just, well, to select and unselect everything, you just use the A key. A means all and also means nothing. So A will deselect, A will select. So when things are selected, they will the vertices will show up as yellow, and the faces will show in this like uh, pink, uh, pink uh, color. Okay, very very good. So I hit A to unselect everything, and while I'm in perspective view, I can use the right click and select the vertices. Shift click to select several different vertices. Okay, now I have these four vertices or a face. And one of the basic operations we do is extrude. So just hit E for extrude and choose region. region. And by default, it, in perspective view, it will do it uh, in the direction of the normal. Okay? So remember, you can use control to snap it. Okay, that's one way. Or you can go to the top view, make sure you unselect everything. So hit A to have everything unselected, and you can use B as in black to cre uh, to change into a window selection mode. And you cross over the the vertices you want to select, and immediately you can do the same here: E to extrude, and it will go in the direction of the normal. Okay, very good. So let's create a very basic shape. I will extrude here. Hit A to unselect everything. B to select this set of vertices here. Yeah. E to extrude region. Control to snap it to the grid. A to unselect. B to grab these. E to extrude region. One, two, over there. And again, B to select these. And region and one, two, and A to unselect everything. Okay, so here we have a nice cross. Very, very good. Now, hit A to select everything and now you can check it from different uh, points of view in your perspective view hit tab to get out of subobject mode very good now remember the panels we had here go into uh, editing mode by hitting F9 or clicking on this, I on this icon and now Blender has a modifier stack similar to the one you have in 3ds Max so you can add modifiers here and stack them up, stack them up and then you can just uh, collapse them it's very it's a very similar concept to 3ds max so this made my life easier in blender too so let's add a modifier here and tell it to do a subsurf so there you go we have a subsurf and then you can change the subsurf levels here so increment it to one two three or four and here we have this very nice shape now if you go into subobject mode by hitting tab check what happens very good so when you go into subobject mode, you will still have the original vertices, and you can now manipulate uh, the, uh, uh, the the object from the basic shape you created. For instance, I'm grabbing these two vertices. I'm saying grab, and if I move it up, look, check what happens here. So Blender is very, very pow powerful for for modeling. So I think this is enough for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys around uh, with another very quick tutorial for Kirkethia users. Bye bye.